All right, so you got a diaphragm call now and you want to practice with it. You want to produce all the different sounds. In this mini series, I'm going to show you guys how to produce all the different turkey sounds with a diaphragm from the yelp, the cluck, the cut, the purr, but uh, the purr took me about two years to get, uh, to get the purr. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to yelp on a mouth call. So basically for a mouth call, he is put in on the roof of your mouth right there. Kind of push it in to the uh, the back of your teeth and to produce a sound use your diaphragm not your lungs but breathe out from your diaphragm and you want to have the back of your tongue kind of pressing up on the call like this so your tongue is going to look like like this so the back of your tongue is kind of pressing up on the call like that applying pressure Okay, so not the tip of your tongue applying pressure, but the back of your tongue applying pressure on the call like that. And then you just breathe out air from your diaphragm and just try to produce a sound. Just to start off with, just try to produce whatever sound. So for example, you just go When you're breathing, it's kind of like you're fogging up a window, like not, not like that, but more So to start off with, try to produce a hiss sound, like like a cat hissing, kind of like see how your tongue kind of folds like this, and then the back is the back of your tongue kind of goes up to the roof of your mouth. That's what you want to get uh, to be able to use a uh, mouth call. So just try to produce a hiss sound first, like a cat. Put it up to the top of your mouth, push it up against your teeth. Use the back of your tongue to put pressure on the call, and go hiss. And it's gonna sound something like that, okay? So, for the yelp, you wanna start with more pressure and then kinda drop your jaw. and the pressure from your diaphragm is continuous. So with a yelp, it starts off with a high pitch. So it's a two-tone yelp, right? It starts off with a high pitch, and when you drop your jaw, that's when you get that rasp and kind of drops down, the tone drops down. Like that, but that sounds more like an elk cow call. So put turkey cadence on it. You start off with your tongue, high pressure, and then your jaw drops like that to produce the low, the lower tone. So high tone low tone with the jaw drop and uh, that's how you do the yelp um, when you're first starting off you just kind of want to just play around with it like when I first started off um, practicing with diaphragm calls I just listened to as many natural turkey sounds as possible and I would just literally have the call in my mouth while I'm watching TV or watching YouTube videos about it um, on my drive to work I would just have I would always have a call with me in my truck and when I'm driving to work driving home from work I'm practicing the entire time and uh, I've got you know YouTube videos uh, playing in my truck during that drive of just turkey sounds turkeys making sounds um, and I just try to play around with the with the call and just try to create all kinds of different sounds hey what happens if I use the tip of my tongue oh it doesn't work hey what happens if i don't drop my jaw oh well it sounds like this and it doesn't work and what happens if i move my mouth to the side like as compared to just in the front what happens if my jaw is forward or my jaw is a little bit backwards 
and just play around with it and just make all kinds of different sounds and just get used to having the call in your mouth I think is probably the biggest part is getting used to having that call in your mouth and then just getting used to all the different types of sounds that get produced when you do different things um, but the most important part is you got to use your diaphragm that's why it's called a diaphragm call so you're not breathing from your lungs or your throat like <sighs> you're using your diaphragm like <sighs> like that so um, yeah just practice with that play around with it and it's literally all it takes is practice 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 um, it took me two years to be even be able to get the purr down on this thing and three years to be able to do a gobble and my god I just learned to gobble how to gobble on the mouth call and it's not that great but I'll show you guys in another video how to do the gobble as well but uh, yeah guys that is how you do the hen yelp with the turkey diaphragm call so keep on practicing that and uh, eventually you'll get it <laughs>